Hey guys, it's Autumn Guard, and today we're going to be reviewing the TC20 XLR condenser microphone from Toner. So I've done other microphone review videos in the past. I've done one on the Rodin T1A, and although a lot of you guys liked it, some of you guys did voice concerns about budget. Because here's the thing. The first time you buy an XLR microphone, you might not know that you also need to purchase an audio interface. And although audio interfaces are very affordable nowadays, I'll leave a link in the description where you can get some, if you've already invested hundreds of dollars into a microphone, getting an extra thing can feel like a lot. And that is where the Toner TC20 comes in. The first thing I can tell you about this microphone is that it's got a really good price point. And for today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what this microphone comes with. So the unboxing, the setup process, things that you will need to use this microphone. And at the end of the video, I will show you what it sounds like. So without further ado, let's get started. I wanna say a quick thank you to Toner for partnering with me on this video. I'm really excited to be showcasing this microphone. Okay, so the first thing that we have here is the instruction manual. And upon opening it, we see that we have a two year warranty card, which is always nice to have. And then in the instruction manual, you will have some pictures on how to set everything up and some things that you will need. And then we take this little thing off and we see we have a boom arm. This is really awesome. I've never known a microphone to come with a boom arm before. I actually have been using this exact same one for a few months now and I absolutely love it. The base of this boom arm is really thick and really sturdy so it's not going to chip your desk like other cheap boom arms would. And we also have a shock mount. So this is going to help reduce any vibrations to the microphone that may cause some noise. Then we have the microphone itself. I actually really love even just the look of the microphone with the logo on it. It just gives it a really nice professional look. And then we have a nice little microphone cover, really good for reducing unwanted sounds. And we also have a pop filter. And again, it's just really good at getting rid of the unwanted sounds, some cable management Velcro strips, and last but not least, we have an XLR cable. Nice. Next up, we have the setup process. So I have a pretty good idea of how to set stuff like this up. I've done it before, but I'm gonna show it to you guys so you can see how easy it is. Okay, for your microphone, you're going to put that into the shock mount thing. So you just take the little handles and kind of squeeze it in there. And then you have the XLR cables very easy, just kind of plug it in and then plug it into your audio interface. Um, I'll show you guys how to set that up later for your computer. And then we have the base of the boom arm. So the little bottom thing is what you're gonna twist when you slip it into the desk to tighten it. And then once you have the base in there, you kind of just slip on the top of the boom arm. And then you have the little clip that goes on the microphone. This is kind of how I did it. I just like put on the little clip and then put the little screw and kind of just tightened it that way. Pretty easy, but you can always reference the instructions back again if you need to. As far as the pop filter goes, there's this little space in between um, on the bottom of the pop filter. You just slip it into the boom arm and then tighten it to exactly where you want it to be. And once you're done, you'll have a nice professional looking setup. Then you're going to connect the end of the XLR cable to your audio interface and go ahead and plug it into your computer and make sure you have phantom power turned on. This is what the phantom power button typically looks like. Another thing to keep in mind is if you have a PC, you are going to have to download some drivers in order to use your audio interface. And that's really easy to find. Usually it'll be on the product's website. If you're using a Mac, you're likely not going to need to download any drivers. Once you're done with that, check the audio preferences of whatever digital audio workstation you are using. Make sure your audio interface is selected and you're all set. All right, so now that I've got the microphone all set up, I'm gonna go ahead and record some vocals. I'm gonna show you guys what the dry vocal sounds like and I'm also gonna show you what it sounds like with some effects in it to make it sound a little bit more expensive. <laughs> Never have your words come out of my head When you spoke the I believed in it 
When you call my name, I don't hesitate When I call your name, you're always there Another thing that you might want to use this microphone for is for recording instruments like guitar So I'm going to go ahead and show you what that sounds like right now That are just interested in doing like voiceovers or podcasting maybe some asmr this is what the microphone sounds like for just like regular talking all right so this is what the microphone sounds like there's no effects that have been added this is just what you're going to get as soon as you plug it in and start using it so now that we've heard what it sounds like for different uses let's talk about some of the technical aspects of this microphone it does say that it has high spl handling which is something that I always look for in a microphone is how loud I can sing into the microphone before it starts to clip. And as you guys heard from the singing that I did earlier, it handled it quite well. It is a cardioid mic, meaning that it is meant to receive sound from the front. So that means that any sound that might come from like the sides or the back is going to be suppressed. So like, for example, if I'm talking over here, oops, I just bumped it. So if I'm talking like over here, kind of an awkward position, but you get what I'm doing or over here, or if I'm talking a little bit more on this side. Those sounds are just gonna be suppressed, which is great for reducing background noise. Also, now that I think of it, this is more of a mic kit review rather than just a microphone review. The Toner TC20 is great for people that want to get into the XLR condenser microphone world, but maybe have been hesitant to do so due to the price tag that usually comes with it. The Toner TC20, however, is very affordable and it's gonna give you everything that you need to get started. That's it for today's video, you guys. I hope it was helpful. Again, I wanna say thank you to Toner for sending me the TC20 XLR condenser microphone. I am very impressed with the overall value of this setup. Don't forget to give this video a like if you liked it, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys on the next one. All right, so. All right, so. but you're... Uh... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay.